Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to send emails using PHP and PHP Mailer. So first, let's download PHP Mailer. Now let's go to this first link and let's scroll down. So here we have just to click on this link, download PHP Mailer as a zip file. Now let's save this zip file. So I will save it on the desktop. Now let's extract this zip file. So I will extract it on the desktop. And let's rename it. So I will call it emails. Now let's move it to the public folder of my web server. So I am using exam.p and exam.p is installed on the C drive. So I have to open the htdocs folder and let's paste the folder here. Now let's open this folder and let's remove all of these files. Now let's create a new PHP file. So I will call this file send.php. Now let's go back to the website. And here let's scroll down. And let's copy this example. So we can just use this button. Now let's open this file. And let's paste the source code just here. Now let's go back to the website. And let's scroll up. Then we need to copy these three statements. Now let's add them just here. And of course we need to correct this path. So let's go back to this folder emails. It contains this source folder and this source folder contains these files. So in my case, the correct path is just to remove this part from the path. Also, we can remove these two lines. Now, to send the emails, I will use my Gmail account. So, I will modify the host. Also, I need to modify the username, which is my email account. Then, I need to modify the password. Now, I need to provide the SMTP secure value. So, it will be TLS. So, let's remove this value. And let's write TLS. Also, I need to modify the port number. So the value that I will use is 587. Now let's provide the email of the sender. So this is my email account that I will use to send the emails. Also, let's provide the name of the sender. Now let's provide the address of the receiver. So here I will use two different accounts. This is on Gmail and this is on Yahoo. Now let's modify the name of the receiver. So I have only one receiver. That's why I will put the other statements as a comment. Also I will put the statements of the attachment files as a comment. Now let's set the subject of this email. Also, let's modify the body. Now, let's save this file and let's configure the Gmail account to authorize less secure applications. So, I have just to click on this icon, then manage your Google account. And here, I have to click on security. Now, let's scroll down. And then I need to enable the less secure application access. So if you cannot find this section, this means that you are using the two-factor authentication. In this case, you need to create a new Gmail account. In my case, I have this section, so I will just activate it using this link. And then let's allow the less secure applications. Now let's close this page and let's execute the PHP file. So the PHP file is available under a folder called emails and it is called send.php. 
Now let's hit enter. And here we obtain this message, which means that the email has been transmitted correctly. So let's open the email account of the receiver. And here we have this email. So this is the email that we have transmitted using PHP and PHP Mailer. And this is the email address of the sender. Now let's create a contact form that sends a confirmation email to the users. So let's look for a contact form. And let's go to this first link. In this page we can find some examples. So let's click on try it yourself. Now we can modify this contact form. So I need the first name and for the last name I will modify it and I will call it email. So this is the first name, I need it. For the last name I will call it email. Also I will modify the name of the attributes and I will call them email. Now let's remove the country. And of course we need the subject. Also we need to modify the action. So I have to provide the name of our PHP file which is send.php. And I want that the data of this form to be transmitted using the post method. Now let's run this code. And we obtain the form that we need. So let's copy the source code. And let's create a new PHP file. So I will call it form.php. Now let's paste the source code. And let's save this file. Now let's close it. And let's modify the file send.php. So first let's read the data of the form. Now let's disable the debug output. So let's put this statement as a command. And let's send the confirmation email to the email of the user. So let's remove this value. And let's replace it with the email that we received within the form. Also let's replace this value by the name of the user. Now let's modify the subject. And let's modify the body. Then we can put this statement as a command. Now let's save this file and let's run the file form.php. Let's hit enter and let's provide the first name. So for example, let's write Bill Gates. Let's provide the email and let's write some text. Now let's click on submit. And we can see that the message has been transmitted correctly. Now let's check the email account. And we receive this confirmation email. So it contains the message of the user and here we have the name of the user. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.